Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So this video is obviously a Planet Zoo speed build and I am so excited to be posting this video for you today because it is a cougar habitat, which means it is using the new North American animal pack in Planet Zoo. The DLC was released yesterday, I think, and it has eight new animals, all of which I am super excited about. They are the cougar, obviously, the moose, beaver, Californian sea lion, the American alligator, the American bullfrog, the arctic fox and the black-tailed prairie dog. And if you haven't seen the release trailer already then I really recommend going and watching it because it shows off loads of amazing animations using the new animals and they all just look so good. So if you want to see some animations but if you want to see some animations of the cougars specifically I have added lots of cinematic shots of the finished build but also of the animals using the habitat at the end of this video so please stick around for that if you are interested. I'm afraid we didn't get any babies this time I was waiting and waiting for my cougars to mate and when they finally did the female didn't get pregnant so I gave up and I just made sure that I had plenty of other footage of the cougars and the habitat but I've seen footage of the babies and they look so adorable so yeah I think there's some in the trailer so if you want to go and see them then I'd recommend to checking it out. In terms of this build then, I was going to continue with my Canadian animal park that I had previously made an entrance building and I think a bison habitat for on my channel in other videos, but I loaded up the zoo over the weekend and was trying to prepare for some new habitats and I spent absolutely ages trying to adjust the terrain and all of the building and everything like that just to make everything work and prepare it for new habitats, but it just wasn't working at all and I really wasn't happy with how it was going and just the zoo in general. I think that's why I hadn't returned to building in that zoo for ages because it was one of the first few Planet Zoo videos on my channel that I'd ever made and as a result of lack of experience for building in the game with the intention of making a video or a video series especially, I had made a few mistakes that just made it really difficult to add to it. So first of all, I wasn't happy with the colour scheme and it would be really hard to use some of my favourite objects and make them look good in combination with that building and some of the objects that I use in that building because I think I didn't use a lot of, well I didn't use a lot of off-grid items and I didn't use very many recolorable items either and some of the logs that I used just had a really weird colour scheme to them and I wasn't sure how to sort of go about trying to match that theme with other buildings so yeah it was kind of ruining my inspiration a little bit and I also hadn't planned out the terrain like at all when I built that zoo and so considering I wanted to build the rest of the zoo up a mountain the lighting would have been really awful because the position of the entrance building meant that the mountain would have had to go behind the building in order for the view up the mountain to look good with where the light was coming from which is obviously where all of the additional habitats would have had to have gone because they would go up the mountain obviously and the terrain itself was just really awkward and and the pathing would have been a problem to continue adding to and adjusting to the terrain so I was just I just gave up and <laughs> decided to start afresh and I also feel like I'm just an all-round better builder now and so I can just do much better than I did in that building so instead of spending the weekend building habitats for the new animals like I had planned I decided to map out the terrain for the new zoo and with the same concept as the other zoo but just yeah just a better theme and style and and better planned version of that zoo. So this zoo is a new zoo that we are building in and it is called Pine Springs Park and like the other one the idea is that it's a Canadian national park so the idea being that it makes use of the beautiful natural Canadian landscape with reasonably traditional Canadian architecture with lots of log cabins that have these green roofs on them and the zoo is also going to be going up a mountain so the same idea in terms of that so it will have tons of terrain work for me to have to do and lots of different levels and viewpoints and it's also going to follow the river's journey down the mountain as well so tons of like river details and waterfalls and things like that so obviously you can see in this video that I have added a waterfall to this enclosure the cougar habitat is actually quite a walk up the 
the mountain already, which is an odd place to start in relation to where the entrance building would be in terms of my first habitat that I decided to build. But I also thought that the mountain lions would be a bit of a showstopper animal and so they shouldn't be one of the first animals that you encounter in the park. So I really wanted them to be just a little bit higher up and a little bit further away from the entrance building. So I made them quite high up in the mountain. And I have started a new entrance building as well. I was doing that over the weekend and I've got some footage for that. Obviously I haven't finished it, but that will come in its own video later on down the line. And when I was doing that, I also created a theme with lots of different fence patterns and yeah, just made a blueprint of those so that I can use them throughout the zoo. So everything matches and looks nice together and is all the same color and everything like that. So that's why when I come to adding fences in this video, don't be upset that you don't see how I made the fences. I didn't show that in the footage in this video. I will add the footage for that at some point in the future, probably in the video for the entrance building. So I really hope that you're excited about this new zoo and that you like what I've done so far in it because I did like the previous build that I made. I, I really did like the building. I just much prefer the potential that this zoo has and in terms of what I have in mind for this zoo just in general and the colours I've used for the timber in this zoo are just a little bit warmer, make everything look a bit nicer and richer and nicer to look at. <laughs> and I've also used a lot of flexi colour objects that go together a lot more cohesively. And like I said, I also spent a long time working out specific styles so that everything in the zoo just sort of fits together nicely. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of this new zoo and this new style and whether you're as excited about it as I am. So to explain what I've been building in this video specifically, as I've been talking so far, I had a lot of footage to work with because as you can see, this enclosure is huge, but I think it goes with the type of zoo that we're building in. So if we were in a normal zoo or a more urban zoo or yeah, a more built up zoo, I would think that the enclosure would have been way too big and that the cougars might look tiny in context of this giant enclosure. But I think that it kind of makes sense in this context because the enclosures are supposed to have the effect of encountering the animals in the wild. So all of the enclosures are super big. And I think the amount of rocks and the amount of foliage that and trees and stuff like that that I had to add kind of filled out this enclosure as well. So it didn't look too big because of that, I think. Or at least I hope. I think it kind of looks full, at least, even if it is huge. <laughs> but yes, I had tons of footage to work with. So I do chop it up quite a bit and it was feeling very repetitive as I was building. So I do sort of go back and forth quite a bit when I like stop and decide I can't be bothered to do any more of that. So I then move on to something else and then I move back. So you do see me like switch back and forth in the video. So sorry about that if it's a bit confusing, but that's just how I build, I'm afraid. <laughs> I also spent so long placing a million rocks and so much foliage, like I say. So I did cut out most of that as it was quite repetitive. I was just using the same objects over and over again and I was bored building it. So you definitely would have been bored watching it. <laughs> but you can just, yeah, you can just see that I've yeah used the same objects over and over again everywhere. So just imagine when you do see me doing rocks or foliage that that's where I'm putting in other places. And then also for some reason, you'll see that I lost the footage of me placing the mossy rocks on the waterfall. So I think I included some footage of me like placing the normal rocks and I think they're temperate and is it tiger or tiger? I've heard people say tiger as a biome. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, there are two types of rocks that I placed just for some color variation. But I also then went back and added some mossy rocks. I must have done it off camera because I didn't have any footage for it. And I think those rocks were either in the South American DLC or they were possibly a base game update because they weren't the ones with the mossy layer on top. They were the all round mossy rocks instead. So yeah, I just added them in the same way that I added the other rocks. I just kind of layered them and just repeated. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I just sort of placed them over and over again and it was very time consuming and tedious. And then the only other thing in terms of techniques for building that waterfall that I did, that cliff face, was that I just pulled, I think, a bit of the terrain over the rocks so that, yes, yeah, so you could see some of the soil. And then I just sort of 
varied the terrain paint so some of it was soil some of it was rock pattern and it just looked like it had loads of different textures on it and I think it turned out okay in the end it looks a bit clunky up close because all of the rocks sort of individually stand out but from a distance it definitely looks much much better so I hope you like it and then I think I added some greenery and I think for that it was just like the bracken objects and maybe some of the willow bushes I added them on top of the cliff or the waterfall and then I also sort of sunk in some of the bracken into the cliff face as well so that it just had some greenery and then I was looking at some pictures online of what waterfalls look like because to begin with I just had this big rock wall and it was looking a bit odd and that was before I added any of the mossy rocks or greenery or anything and then I realised in these pictures of Canadian waterfalls that there were these huge trees in front and to the side of the waterfall and it just kind of made it look a lot nicer, frames it a lot nicer and gave it more variety and colour and yeah just in terms of the composition of the landscape it just made it look a little bit nicer so I think I did it off camera as well I did sort of change the shape of the little pool at the bottom of the waterfall and I just sort of extended the land a bit so that there was some room for some trees so that I could add some trees in front of the waterfall so that yeah like I say it just sort of makes it look a little bit fuller a little bit more varied and and hopefully nicer so I hope you like the look of that and then I also added a sneaky little cave at the end of the video I think it's towards the end I wasn't sure how to make their hard shelter for a good long while but then I found a place in the rocks that would make quite a nice natural looking cave so yeah I just sort of pushed back the terrain removed a few rocks added a few rocks around the entrance and then yeah added some bedding inside the cave and some log items and things like that I probably if I had more energy I would probably would have gone back and added some more detailing in that like some of the root objects I've seen people do lots of nice stuff with those you know this I think they came with the South American DLC they can look really good and yeah just more like twigs and stuff I would have added in there but to be honest with you I couldn't be bothered and <laughs> I feel like I could have added some rocks around the the walls inside the cave and on the roof of the cave as well but yeah I just kept it how it was and it does look good it looks fine but I was just getting knackered by that point <laughs> so <laughs> that's how it is I'm afraid and in terms of their shelter I don't think they needed much anyway it's quite a small cave but they didn't need much space in terms of shelter because well I'm, I'm not sure if trees affect it or not but there were tons of trees so they do have some shelter from them but then I think also the viewing cabin provided some shelter for them because they've got some space underneath it because their fence is quite far back underneath the viewing cabin area so they can go under there I think which is quite handy and then I did have quite a few issues when building the cabin the the viewing gallery sort of cabin and the mesh as well the mesh fence so off camera I sort of worked it out off camera and I didn't show the footage of me struggling because I thought that would just be annoying <laughs> to watch <laughs> but it was because the cougars could climb some of the log items that I'd used for both of them so in the end I managed to find a recolorable pole object that looks pretty much exactly the same as the ones that they could climb that I'd used in both the fence and the cabin so I just switched them out in some of the key areas that they were escaping from so I think it was only a couple of areas that were affected for some reason I have no idea why but yeah if you do download this habitat it is on the Steam Workshop if you're interested I've got the link for it down in the description box below in this video but yeah if you do download it and you're having any issues with them climbing out of the habitat for whatever reason because I know sometimes it can be a bit inconsistent with what settings it tells you then yeah just switch out any of those areas with a different pole a different recolorable pole I can't remember which object it is I think it might have been an Australian pack item that is non-climbable but you can filter when you're searching for objects you can filter whether or not it is a climbable object so just pick a random recolorable pole that <laughs> <laughs> that can't be climbed up and you'll be fine but yeah most of the fence remains exactly the same as the footage that you can see so it's just one or two tiny changes so I didn't keep that in and then I really like the viewing gallery that I added as well originally I decided to add it because the cougars were so far away from the guests on the other side of the river that I thought it would look ridiculous trying to view the mountain lions that far away so this way the guests are just lifted that little bit closer to the animals and they've also got 
got a nice vantage point to see the waterfall from far away as well so there's a view to the right and to the left with some glass windows so they can see those views quite nicely and just all around so yeah I'm quite happy with how that turned out I did think as I was making this enclosure that Planet Zoo kind of missed an opportunity with this pack to have a recolorable log cabin wall item and a piece like that off grid as well that would have been amazing especially for this build and this type of zoo so what I did in this video was I used the recolorable wooden pieces that came with the aquatic pack I think which I love I use them all the time but they are just a little bit more modern than I would have liked ideally so it would have been much better if we had a piece that looks like that you know the dark brown wooden wall that we have that's the same texture as the wooden barrier we have in the game but that object isn't recolorable and I really hate the color of it and I have a specific color palette in mind that I wanted to use so that item just wouldn't have worked at all I don't think we have any off-grid objects for that theme either and if we do they're definitely climbable so that is a potential issue as well but yeah I could have gotten around the issue by just layering individual logs to recreate the walls and I have seen that been done before and it does work and look good but I also knew that if I started doing that then it would become a problem further on down the line in the zoo because it would mean that I would have had to individually place tons of logs over the course of the zoo and for some potentially much bigger buildings as well so I thought that might become a problem and so it was definitely much safer to go with the aquatic ones because they do they do look okay they do look good and I've trimmed them as well with lots of sort of log pieces and created little patterns on the walls using bigger log pieces so I think that worked whereas if they were on their own it would definitely look more modern so I think I've just gotten away with it but let me know what you think down in the comments below and before I stop talking because I've got tons of footage so I'm not gonna talk all the way through it because I've not got anything left to say but <laughs> but before I go I just wanted to ask which animal you're most interested in seeing me build for next with this new DLC pack so yeah just let me know down in the comments if you have a preference I was thinking possibly the moose or the beaver next but I could change my mind depending on if one animal proves really popular over the others so yeah just pop a comment down below let me know what you'd be interested in seeing so, but that's pretty much all I have to say in regards to this build I really hope you liked it please let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below and what you thought of this new zoo idea as well as this new pack and all of the new animals that we got with this new pack I'm really pleased with it I absolutely love all of the animals that I've seen so far I've obviously only played with the cougars in my own game but I've seen all of them in various places and they look amazing and as I say I've included tons of cinematic shots of the finished build but also the cougar animations at the end of the video so do stick around for those if you're interested but yes as always if you like this video then please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye guys
This 